this episode of Cruise Further, Cruise Safer, we're going to look at how to leave a side-on berth such as a fuel dock. If there's a crosswind, this can prove quite challenging because it's always trying to blow the boat back onto the dock and there's a risk of damaging either the stern or the bow. So we're going to look at techniques for getting off the berth either with or without the use of thrusters. Okay, we're just getting ready to leave our little temporary berth and we've got a swirling wind. It's going either side of the bow, so it's a little bit interesting. We're going to go with a stern line off first, because that's our down element line. Wind's up here, then the bow line will come off, a little twist towards the dock, and we can reverse it. Stern clear. And bow clear, please. Okay, so here, just a little twist, a little bit of bow in, a little one of stern out. Little one of bow in, little one of stern out, just getting that angle, and now both for stern, launch off the dock. Little one of port to stern, just to keep that bow coming clear. Got to be careful because of the breeze. Haven't needed any thrusters. Keep driving at a stern. When I'm clear, ahead with the starboard engine, drives the bow out and off we go. When it's windy, lots of people rely on their thrusters, perhaps a bit too much, and they can also catch you out. So if you've got a bow thruster and it's reasonably powerful, just remember that as you bow thrust to starboard, that does a nice job of starboard for the bow, but most people forget the stern's now going to port. Same if you've got a stern thruster. They often have quite good grunt in them, but as you stern thrust one way, the bow goes the other. Really easy to get caught especially when it's windy. 